Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Margaret and Fiddlesticks. There's a story behind this one. I've started off this manicure with Danny Digit's Glitter Be Gone and here is Butter London's Fiddlesticks. And we have Julep in the shade called Margaret. We'll get with the story here in just a second. And I'm gonna top this one off with Posh Top Coat. I've already done the first coat of um, Margaret on, on my other nails. My footage did not record that very nicely, so I have just edited that bad nastiness out. And we are doing our first coat of Fiddlesticks on our accent nail. And I would like to thank Stacy from Polished Ways for de-stashing these polishes and, and giving me the opportunity to own both of them. Now we're going to go in with our second coat, and here we go. This is Margaret, and I've got the polish a little thick. It takes me a while to get used to the wands and the brushes on julep polishes, so we're going to work with it. So on to the story. My grandmother's name was Margaret, and she never cussed ever, ever, ever. If she banged her head on something, you would hear, fiddlesticks. If she was aggravated about anything, fiddlesticks was her cuss word. And I mean, I've seen her whack her head or bump her hand or run into something, and she never ever dropped a bad word. She would always use fiddlesticks or fiddle faddle or whatever. But when I saw these two polishes in Stacy's D stash, I had to have them. They brought back memories of my grandmother. So this is my grandmother's manicure. I think she would approve. So we have gotten two coats of these polishes on my nails and we're going to top them off with some posh top coat. Get them to dry down because as usual I have to add something to this one. One of these days you might get to see me just straight up do just a manicure, but don't hold your breath. It doesn't happen often. And I love how this fiddlesticks looks when you add the top coat. It just brings out that all that glittery goodness. Oh, love it. I do want to seal them in really well because I'm going to do some stamping. I'm going to cap my end. There we go. Now I'm going to let these dry before we stamp. Of course, you've got to see the orange wood because it always shows up. I'm stamping with Queen plate number 59, and I'll be using clean color. And this is this one is called Metallic Fuchsia. And I'll be using MDU Holland Blue number 42, my Faber Nail Scraper, and my Starry Night Stamper from Born Pretty. And this clean color, of course, is not a stamping polish, but it's where it lives with my stamping polishes because that is all I use. The metallics from Clean Color 4 because they stamp like a dream. I'm going to clean this plate off real quick and we're going to go in with that Holland Blue and put that on my accent finger. And I will apologize for my crusty, gnarly, crusty cuticles. I got into a hurry to do this manicure and I did not coat them down with any of my cuticle balm like I normally do. So pardon them please, I'm sorry. And I am going to try to get most of this off with tape. I will give you a heads up, it doesn't all come up with tape and I end up having to do it the other way with the cleanup brush. Here we go, we're just going to do a little quick little cleanup here. I say quick clean up, but you know, for some people clean up is therapeutic. I, I wouldn't really call it therapeutic for me, <laughs> but I do like having it all cleaned up before I do my top coating. There we go. Almost done. One more little swipe. There we go good deal. And I'm going to finish this manicure off with some posh top coat. 
seal all that stamping in. And I knew it looks like this top coat smearing the design, but what I realized is that actually I hadn't done a very good scrape. So what looks like smearing is actually poor scraping. It happens to everyone. There we go. I hope you like this one. Leave me a comment down below. I always love talking to you about polish. And here's my swatch photo. Fiddlesticks, Margaret. You guys have a good day. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.